All right, running the Rotterdam run, a half marathon, actually with other people. So uh, yeah, just started. The place where we started our run was the Outdoor Valley, a place uh, where you can do a lot of outdoor activities. Uh, it's actually just outside of Rotterdam, uh, Bergson Hook, and we're running towards Rotterdam, towards the center. Most of the course today is along the river, the Rote, which is the river that Rotterdam was named after. In uh, the year 1270, they made a, a dam in the river and that's where Rotterdam started. So that's uh, 750 years ago. Now the area where we're at now is actually the Rote Meere, which is uh, Rote Lakes. Uh, and it's an area where the river spans out wider and it's a beautiful green area. It's a great area to run through. Uh, and at the end of that, it gets smaller again when it goes into the city. And we'll end up at the finish at the high street where they actually uh, created the dam back in 1270. So uh, yeah, are we there yet? <laughs> Ben, another windmill, uh, they just uh, clipped its wings. <laughs> now I was happy that the event was uh, with a big group, but I think I started a little bit too fast. Uh, there's not a lot of runners around me. Uh, once in a while I see a runner that uh, passes me or I pass one from the group uh, before me. But uh, yeah, it's a nice and quiet run after all. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna take it a little easier. Uh, I'm at 11 kilometers and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the beautiful area because it is hot today. Uh, they said it was gonna be a little bit colder and overcast today, but there's a lot of sun and yeah, there are some clouds, but I wouldn't call this overcast. And it is 23 degrees Celsius. I'm burning up. I'm glad I'm wearing the Fanic bandana. So otherwise my head would probably be red right now. All right, I just saw something uh, concerning. Uh, behind me here, there's a big hill. We don't have hills in Holland. Everything's flat, except for here, apparently. But I saw a green shirt going around the corner there, going up that hill. So I think that's where uh, my course leads. How fun. <laughs> Now today, I didn't have to bring a map. The uh, course is actually set out with uh, red arrows. So uh, that's a lot uh, nicer to run that way. And uh, I feel kind of lucky all of a sudden because uh, the hill is over there, red arrow over there.
still following the river de Rota. Uh, we're getting closer to the center now. And of course, you're waiting for me to give you some uh, Rotterdam trivia. Well, uh, Rotterdam, like I said, they built the dam in 1270, but they got their city rights in 1340. So it's been a city since then. Uh, the population uh, last year was 651,000. And with that, it's the second biggest city in the Netherlands. And it's the biggest harbor city of Europe. I think this is a great opportunity to cool off a little bit. Uh, nice, shady, damp area. <laughs> All right, guess we're out of the woods and uh, we're going back into the sun. We're still following the river and we're getting closer to the city center now. Uh, I'm actually familiar with Rotterdam with the center. I can tell you where certain stores are, <laughs> but the outskirts, not so much. So up to now, I didn't really have a clue where we were, but uh, yeah, I see uh, familiar places now. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you may remember me mentioning that I'm training for the Chicago Marathon. Now, in my training plan, today it called for a half marathon. So it was actually perfect that uh, this run was on because it fits perfectly into my training plan. Uh, it's supposed to be an easy run though. Easy pace training run just to train the distance. I started out maybe a little bit too fast for that, but uh, I'm actually also trying to work out my speed. And if you uh, watch my video about the Guinness Book of Records, then you may have heard me mention that I'm trying to break a record or a set a record, however you want to call it. Uh, I haven't revealed what that record is yet, but uh, it has to do with, uh, with speed and uh, the half marathon distance. So uh, keep watching to find out what exactly uh, that record is. indicators on the ground saying uh, how many kilometers we uh, ran but I haven't seen one for a long time I think the last one that I saw was 14k so uh, I'm not sure uh, how far we are into the race but uh, I think we're getting close to the finish now can't lose dude <laughs> All right, uh, it's actually a really great day. Just be wandering around or playing on the water. Uh, that's also why Kiara and Zane came with me. They dropped me off and then they're gonna meet me at the finish. So this is the first race where Zane's gonna meet me at the finish. The Rotterdam run. Uh, I got my medal and we're actually finishing at the spot where the dam used to be that started Rotterdam. Uh, I got a, a token to get a drink at the, at the bar for wearing the green shirt. If you wore the green shirt then you got a token. Uh, so I'm uh, heading over there because it's, it's hot. I'm burning up. Time to get something to drink. Till next time, get out there and run.